with Lincoln Purse, the author and illustrator of the Big Nate books, as well as the Big Nate cartoon strip. And we're going to talk about vocabulary with Lincoln. So first, Lincoln, you've talked about being a great cartoonist also means being a great writer. So what can words do that drawing cannot? Well, I think it's more about sort of the whatever emotional landscape your characters are going through, especially in simple cartoon drawings, I feel like there's only so much you can tell with a facial expression and body language. You can sort of get the sort of quick hit of, okay, he's frustrated or he's whatever. But, you know, if you really want to kind of dig into what's going on in, inside, I feel like it takes words. So, Lincoln, what's your favorite word? There's the steel guitar player, long since passed away. He was one of the first musicians to play an amplified electric steel guitar. And he could make it sound like a trombone. And people hearing him play for the first time on the radio didn't know what instrument they were listening to. And they thought it was a trombone. So, so I have heard his playing described as trombone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great word. <laughs> yeah. Which I know it's not a real word, but I just love it. You know, trombone. And I, I've always had that word, even though it's not a real word, in my mind because it, it made another connection where at some point I feel like I'm going to write a story about a family of circus acrobats called the Amazing Trombonies. So I just feel like that story's in there. It's going to come out. Nice. There's a story just with one word. Yeah, yeah. So do people need to keep learning new vocabulary? Yeah. Yeah. If they want to keep doing crossword puzzles, they do. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite way to use vocabulary in your cartoons? Nate has a Nate's best friend in the in the comic is Francis. Nate's a dog person, and Francis is a cat person. So they are trying to convince each other, based on sort of phrases and words that they can come up with, of the superiority of the animal in each case. So Nate's trying to, you know, he's he's saying things like, you know. Dog Day Afternoon, and Francis is saying stuff like, cat on a hot tin roof, you know, and they just go back and forth, nice. you know, and um, I can't, I can't even remember now how, what the punchline was. I just remember what fun I had sort of trying to come up with different references. Finally, the bonus question that I ask every author is, yeah. how do you define erudite lexicon? Uh, well, I, I don't in my everyday life, but I, if I had to, I guess I would say it is a, uh, it is a, a colorful collection of, um, of words that, uh, that one can go to at, at any time. Lovely. Thank you.